Good evening. I'm meteorologist Anthony Sambucci with an Anthony Sambucci weather update. Please follow anthonysambucciweather.com. That is my weather blog. That would be great. We have a very, very busy weather story to talk about. It was a nice day, a mix of sun and clouds. It got a little cloudy at the end of the day. Temperatures were in the low 50s throughout northern Queens, throughout portions of the city. If you look at this forecast, this is brought to you by your local National Weather Service. I'll explain it in greater detail later on in the weather update. But there you see it. We warm up a little bit tomorrow. We go to the upper 50s, above average. So upper 50s to near 60 with a mix of sun and clouds. A chance of showers. Really, the shower should hold off until the end of the day, where temperatures will be in the upper 40s and lower 50s. And a chance of showers as a big weather front will be approaching our region for the day Wednesday. Showers and even a thunderstorm and record high temperatures could be possible again as we exit February and, end, and head into March. Temperatures in the 60s to near 70. Showers and thunderstorms Wednesday and especially Wednesday evening. And then there you go, the temperatures really just fall out. We really just enter March like a lion. <laughs> as temperatures are in the near 70 on Wednesday and we fall down into the 40s on Thursday and there you see it even a, possibly a clipper system with a chance of light snow temperatures in the 30s on Friday so you're talking about near record highs to below average temperatures in the matter of 48 hours that's real impressive if you ask me so that is what is in store for this week we'll see how it plays out what's causing all this crazy weather you ask well, we got a lot of low pressure systems out west. These low pressure systems will move through the area. There's all this activity out west, which is going to shift to the east. We've seen a very big ridge here in the east and a trough out west, which has kept the cold weather to the west and kept us warm here in the east. That is about to change as we head into March. So here is the big weather system with the associated strong cold front that will affect our area Wednesday into Wednesday evening so today it was a little cool but it was definitely above average to conclude February this will be the last weather update of February I'll be back with your weather updates in March my birthday month by the way <laughs> happy birthday to me and anyone else born in March so February has been mild, as you can tell. More southerly flow, which will keep us warm to end February, which is tomorrow, the last day of February. So we had a snowstorm earlier in February, but now it's just been very, very mild. So above average this February. We're looking to be below average for the first week or two of so, or so of March. So playing it out on the NAM, all this activity out west, will eventually affect our area. Early in the day Tuesday looks good. Tuesday evening you could see showers, but please exercise caution if you're traveling Wednesday. Wednesday, a chance of thunderstorms, severe weather even possible. The main threat looking like it will be damaging winds. But we could see some severe weather with heavy downpours, lightning, thunder, like we saw on Saturday, but this could be a little worse for your day Wednesday. So it warms up for the middle of the week, and then we really get cold, and we go below average for the first weekend of March. So that's about it, everyone. Above average temperatures, as you could tell, well above average, near record highs. We go up, then we go all the way down into the 30s. So from thunderstorms, Heavy rain and thunderstorms to a chance of light snow. A very interesting week in store weather-wise. If you could please follow my Facebook page, I'm meteorologist Anthony Sambucci. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram. And please follow anthonysambucciweather.com. This is the last February weather update of 2017. I will see you in March. Enjoy the weather, everyone.